This goof person of the day award goes to Danny Lay. And let me tell you why. Danny Lay is in the city of Chicago. I don't know why. Probably got a high school appearance. Who the hell knows? But she was set to do an interview with the morning show. And she requested that I, Kendra G, be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me. Girlfriend, this ain't wildin' out. You ain't gonna be Simone me. <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled. But I'm trying to figure out why ain't you want to talk to me in the first place? I actually be on the radio defending your honor. I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG Live and I defended you on the radio. Now, shout out to be Simone, who I know in real life, rock with in real life. But I actually understood why you didn't want to do Wild and Out with her. But I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't want to talk to me. Now, are you nervous? I'm going to ask you the questions that need to be asked. Like, are you still sleeping with your baby daddy after he beat your brother up and played you on the IG Live? And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show you are obsessed and sick okay okay i'll be right back and let's get into something else what's good you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl ebony all right you guys there are several topics i want to get into for this video the first topic being none other than mr tory lane's responding to a pregnant woman who says basically he left her after a hit and run and now she's suing the rapper for damages talk about a mess now according to tmz tory lane's allegedly ran into a woman's car while she was pregnant. Now, the couple goes by Cresha and Jesse Gruyon, and they claimed that New Year's Day in 2021, this is where they were sitting at a red light just off the off ramp of a freeway. Now, they are saying that out of nowhere, Tory Lanez came up in a green Bentley and side swiped them, only to allegedly flee the scene without even checking on them. They are also talking about that the woman, Cresha, was four months pregnant at the time. Now, the couple insist that they want Tory Lanez to sit for a deposition so that he can come out to admit what he did. But Tory Lanez's lawyer, Andel Brown, says that this couple is lying. They're also calling the lawsuit baseless and will be laughed out of court. They're saying that this is an odd alleged incident that happened back in January, that the claim was never made to Tory's insurance until July. They also said the whole thing was made up and they believe the couple simply looked up Tori's license plate and tried to nail him to the case. They also said that the initial report they made with the cops say that the car was silver and then they changed it to green in the lawsuit. They says once the insurance claim was made, the company investigated the incident. They spoke with attorneys on the other side and concluded there was no basis for the claim. So as you guys see, this is a hot mess. If indeed this couple, you know, did tell the police that the car was silver and now they're out here looking up Tory Lane's green Bentley and saying that it was Tory's car, this is just a hot mess and that will be used against him and we just have to see what happens. But chow, this is a hot mess, allegedly, in my opinion, allegedly. Talk about a mess. Now let's go on to the next topic, which is none of other than Miss Danny Lay and Kendra G getting into a little scuffle online all because Danny Lay allegedly her team said that she wanted Kendra G removed if she was going to do a interview with a Chicago radio station and let's just say Kendra G read her to the moon and back check it out this goof person of the day award goes to Danny Lay and let me tell you why Danny Lay is in the city of Chicago I don't know why probably got a high school appearance who the hell knows but she was set to do an interview with the morning show and she requested that I Kendra G be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me girlfriend this ain't wildin out you ain't gonna be Simone me <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled but I'm trying to figure out why ain't you want to talk to me in the first place I actually been on the radio defending your honor I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG live and I defended you on the radio now shout out to be Simone who I know in real life rock with in real life but I actually understood why you didn't want to do wildin out with her but I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't want to talk to me now are you nervous I'm gonna ask you the questions that need to be asked like are you still sleeping with your baby daddy after he beat your brother up and played you on the IG live? And you know what? I probably would have asked you that question because I need to know. Because if you forgave him, that means I need to forgive him. Are you nervous I was going to bring up that way?
this Villa Bone song. Girlfriend, I don't care. You can make a song about your skin tone and, and celebrate it. I love being a dark skinned woman. Ain't no wet song like that gonna make me insecure about my complexion. Are you nervous that I was gonna ask you, like, how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse? And you know what, Diddy Lay? I probably would have asked you all those questions because guess what? That's my job. That's what I do. I ask the questions that the people want to know. Maybe you should focus on your job, be in the studio and make a hit, and we can talk about your music and not about your personal life. That's not my fault that your personal life is more relevant than your music. That's your fault. You around here trying to get people removed from interviews, it don't go down like that. Now you miss out on an opportunity to have a radio interview on number one urban station in Chicago. And guess what? This opportunity might not come around again because your music ain't popping. So with that being said, sit your goofy out. Enjoy Chicago while you're here. So as you guys see, Kendra G had a lot to say. And I'm just like, Kendra G, how long have you been wanting to say this, sis? Like, she drugged Danny Lay. Like, it was so unnecessary. Like, it was, I was literally, like, clutching my pearls. Like, I was like, is Kendra serious? Chell, this is a mess. Now, Danny Lay responded. But I think this is where Danny Lay made her mistake. Danny Lay is so quick to respond on social media. I think she does this unintentionally and it ends up making her look like a liar and that's just my opinion because I don't think Danny Lay is lying now Danny Lay said this okay this isn't true what's up y'all what's going on I never heard anything about this interview now after this happened this is where we saw Danny Lay do a small exclusive with the shade room and the shade room says that it was Danny Lay's team so which is it baby did you know or did you not know was it you or was it not you now, now, this is what the shade room is reporting. I didn't know I had this interview. No one told me. I woke up this morning and this was the first thing I saw. I heard it was just canceled because I was only available in the evening. Def Jam scheduled it. I don't even know her at all. Now look, Danny Lay. So this is your team? right? Now, after Danny Lay said that she didn't know anything about it, this is where we saw Kendra G come out to make a statement. She says, to be clear, I have no reason to lie. Furthermore, I work at a professional radio station that would never allow me to make a claim like this if it wasn't true, period. Now, have a blessed day. Now, the Shade Room is basically saying from their exclusive that Danny Lay was allegedly uncomfortable interviewing with Kendra G. You guys, Guys know Kendra G is also friends with B Simone so this is a hot mess but it does make Danny Lay look very very bad and this is why Danny Lay's team needs to be a lot more transparent with her when it comes to booking her for interviews when it comes to who she's going to interview with because at the end of the day if Danny Lay is not in the loop with decisions being made on her behalf these decisions being made are going to reflect on her as a person Person and as an artist and these could potentially end up being very damaging to the career that she's trying to save right and that's just really no shade people are also bringing up the interview that blue did who works for hollywood unlocked where she actually came out and said that danny lay did not identify as a black woman and she did not understand why black women were so jealous of her check this out several weeks before Yellowbone, and behind the scenes while they were doing mic checks and everything, we were talking about the Afro-Latin experience, and I don't know if she thought I was one of those I know black Dominicans, but she was real candid with me, and she told me directly to my face, I don't consider myself black, but I like black music and black men, and I wish black women weren't so jealous about it. So as you see, Danny Lay has obviously had a problematic past. I think again, like I said, her team needs to be on top of that transparency. This is a hot mess. It makes Danny Lay look like she is uncomfortable, you know, being in spaces with people who may hold her accountable because it's too sensitive. And oftentimes that makes you look like a hypocrite. How are you out here singing and on live calling this man community D word, but when it's time to ask questions or answer questions about him, then you want to act sensitive. When you were the same woman to go lay up with him in London after he embarrassed you on the internet, let's be very clear. Allegedly, let's be clear. Okay. Okay, the baby said that you and him was getting busy in London after he embarrassed you on the internet. Allegedly, talk about us. In my opinion, right? Oh, I got the receipts for that too.
I was gonna respond a different way, but I gathered myself and I decided to respond this way. Um, first of all, I feel like you waited too late. I told you back in December, you should capitalize off the situation. So I feel like that's a bad move. I also feel like um, it's a green move for, you know, your label to have you, you do drop the interview the same, the same time you dropping a new song. I feel like y'all kind of showing y'all hand. I feel like y'all should have put that together better. I also feel like, you know, before we got on your brother, you were just at the London with me that whole week getting busy. So as you guys see, it's just a hot mess all around and you guys will let me know what you think about it down below. Now the final topic is none other than a laughable one and that's Azalea Banks declaring herself the queen of rap. Interesting. You know the girl that loves to attack everyone online but refuses to actually put out music even though she's capable of making good music. Yeah, her. So this is what Azalea Banks had to say earlier today on Instagram. The gag is is Azalea Banks is the actual queen of rap. I'm better than everyone. It's 2022. How long are y'all gonna keep lying to yourselves? I'm more talented, creative, and clever than all of you girls. I switch styles effortlessly. These girls do impressions of themselves. I am politely letting you know that I have zero competition. These broads are chicken heads for real. Now, Azalea Banks, aren't you the bald-headed one? Chow, allegedly. Talk about a mess. Last time I checked, Azalea, you was bald-headed. I thought that a chicken head was, you know, somebody that don't got no hair. And the last time I checked Azalea, you know, you was bald headed, sis. <laughs> Allegedly, okay? I mean, this is laughable. There's really no commentary because it's laughable. Azalea Banks, let's take a look at your career. Like, seriously, let's take a look at your career. Like, are you this delusional, sis? Like, this is not even funny. It's delusion. You know, this whole situation is just so unfortunate because Zalia Banks, and I've said this time and time again, is very talented, but she has allowed her insecurity, foul mouth, and you know, her jealousy to really get the best of her. And so now when people look to see Azalea Banks, we don't look for her music. We look to see who she's throwing shade at next. And that is so unfortunate because she is so talented. And I know she's dying to be put in a video with Nicki Minaj, but I'm not going to do it. I know other pages will probably probably do it but I wanted to talk about Azalea to Azalea and I wanted to say why are you so focused on this where's your music like you have so much more to offer than this bs where is your music sis and that's really no shade let me know what you guys think about these topics down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel give this video a big thumbs up I love you guys so much and we'll talk very soon bye guys